Leviticus 15, the law concerning bodily discharges. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When any man has a discharge from his body, his discharge is unclean, and this shall be his uncleanness in regard to his discharge, whether his body runs with his discharge, or his body is stopped up by his discharge, it is his uncleanness. Every bed is unclean on which he who has the discharge lies, and everything on which he sits shall be unclean. And whoever touches his bed shall wash his clothes and bathe in water, and be unclean until evening. He who sits on anything on which he who has the discharge sat shall wash his clothes and bathe in water, and be unclean until evening. And he who touches the body of him who has the discharge shall wash his clothes and bathe in water, and be unclean until evening. If he who has the discharge spits on him who is clean, then he shall wash his clothes and bathe in water, and be unclean until evening. Any saddle on which he who has the discharge rides shall be unclean. Whoever touches anything that was under him shall be unclean until evening. He who carries any of those things shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until evening. And whomever the one who has the discharge touches and has not rinsed his hands in water, he shall wash his clothes and bathe in water. And be unclean until evening. The vessel of earth that he who has the discharge touches shall be broken, and every vessel of wood shall be rinsed in water. And when he who has a discharge is cleansed of his discharge, then he shall count for himself seven days for his cleansing, wash his clothes, and bathe his body in running water. Then he shall be clean. On the eighth day, he shall take for himself two turtle doves or two young peasants and come before the Lord to the door of the tabernacle of mating and give them to the priest. Then the priest shall offer them the one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering. So the priest shall make atonement for him before the Lord because of his discharge. If any man has an emission of semen, then he shall wash all his body in water and be unclean until evening. And any garment and any leather on which there is semen, it shall be washed with water and be unclean until evening. Also, when a woman lies with a man, and there is an emission of semen, they shall bathe in water and be unclean until evening. If a woman has a discharge, and the discharge from her body is blood, she shall be set apart seven days, and whoever touches her shall be unclean until evening. Everything that she lies on during her impurity shall be unclean. Also everything that she sits on shall be unclean. Whoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until evening. And whoever touches anything that she sits on shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until evening. If anything is on her bed or anything on which she sits. When he touches it, 
he shall be unclean until evening and if any man lies with her at all so that her impurity is on him he shall be unclean seven days and every bed on which he lies shall be unclean if a woman has a discharge of blood for many days other than at the time of her customary impurity or if it runs beyond her usual time of impurity all the days of her unclean discharge shall be as the days of her customary impurity she shall be unclean every bed on which she lies all the days of her discharge shall be to her as the bed of her impurity and whatever she sits on shall be unclean as the uncleanness of her impurity whoever touches those things shall be unclean he shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until evening but if she is cleansed of her discharge then she shall count for herself 7 days and after that she shall be clean and on the 8th day she shall take for herself two turtle doves or two young pigeons and bring them to the priest to the door of the tabernacle of meeting then the priest shall offer the one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering and the priest shall make atonement for her for her before the lord for the discharge of her uncleanness thus you shall separate the children of israel from their uncleanness lest they die in their uncleanness when they defile my tabernacle that is among them this is the law for one who has a discharge and for him who emits semen and is unclean thereby and for her who is indisposed because of her customary impurity and for one who has a discharge either man or woman and for him who lies with her who is unclean